Hey everyone, uh, just a quick one this time. I think over on my other channel, uh, we just used this Arlet Grid Connect PC191HA. This is the black version, so I've got some extra letters there to measure the energy. Um, you know, it measures up to 2400 watts apparently using the Grid Connect app. Now, I've already had one of these before. This was an emergency bike because I didn't have any energy monitoring and I regret it. It was $19 at Bunnings. It doesn't have USB ports, just the button. It is a nice small form factor. But the app is absolutely terrible. It keeps prompting for every bloody permission that it doesn't need, like location. Every time you try to use something, what's your location? It keeps running Bluetooth turn on, which it doesn't need, even when you set it up, and it wants you to create an account. Now, it also only refreshes every minute or so, and it does a really bad job of it. It's insanely frustrating. So I just wanted to see how they made, uh, what current uh, measurement method they use, which is going to be a shunt most likely, um, and then also what current measurement system they're using. Now these are all two year, so you can usually flash them depending on when it was made, and this is a very recent model. So I'd say not gonna be able to flash this over the air because it's gonna be the newer version which has that feature uh, forcefully blocked, assholes. This one, you'd have to probably tap onto the pad and flash it using a serial to UART adapter, USB to UART of some sort. So I've just started cracking it open, but not quite gotten there yet. Now the Tasmider is based on ESP, so you, um, this is not a good way to do it, but I just don't have any tools here. Uh, so yeah, you can always flash it with whatever you want, just not over the air with the newest Tasmoto devices. If you uh, go have a look at to your convert, then most of the details are on there. And if I remember, I'll put a link below. Now that bottom bit of sonic welding, this whole thing is sonically welded together. This bottom bit doesn't really want to give out so easily. Hey, there we go. So, dual relays, that is the first sign of interesting things. These are, again, golden. I've seen these golden relays in quite a few things. Uh, so that's a interesting 10 amp, 12 amp, 15 amp. Okay, different rating. So it will do uh, 12 amp at 250 volts or 10 amp at 250 volts. I don't know why it has both of those. Um, there's going to be a 5 volt um, coil as well, if I can focus. I'm only assuming that because it's got GH1A5LF. So yeah, golden relays I've also seen in the... Where did I see one recently? Something else I opened up. Uh, it might have actually been the NS panel. As we can see here, there is... Huh. This isn't a two-year chip. This is Beacon BK7231TQN32. Uh... Let's hold tight. I'm going to have a quick look at exactly what that is. All right, these are going to be a fun chip. I might actually pull this chip out and try using it for some other things. But this is, uh, yeah, it's a new type of chip. It's much the same as the others. All the specs look very similar to the ESP chips. Uh, there is something called Open Beacon though, which supports this chip and use the Beacon programmer to flash it with that Open Beacon bin file, which is all you know, open source on GitHub. I'll put some links below. So that is quite interesting. Now you can see here, we've just got the button. I've got. Some good isolation there, so everything is quite well isolated. Uh, we've got a two amp fuse on there as well. Uh, little controllers; those are those are going to have me go write them down and search them. The top of it is mostly, by the looks of it, it's a multi-layer PCB, and you have in there what's going to be a five volt and a three point three volt power system of some sort. Diode on the bottom is going to be on the coil side for the sake of the uh, surge suppression. It is a fairly straightforward design with an integrated power supply. Those three chips are what we're going to be looking at. And there is the shunt resistor that they're measuring across. So they're coming through to the other side. So yeah, I'm going to quickly go look up what these chips are and then I'll come back and let you know all about them. All the details will also be down below. All right, we've got a bit more here, uh, and I'm going to scrap everything from this, I think. These pins are actually, I've not been able to find them online to buy it, so I'm definitely going to scrap these off it. These really are, really are going to be really handy. Uh, these little things I'll use for prototyping my own, I guess. I really want to have a tick, uh, have a look at this open beckon uh, modification of this chip, and this one looks like it's got about six, eight, nine GPOs exposed, which is really good. 
Now, down here, if it's going to focus close, you can see we have our BL0937. I could have read that earlier, but I didn't. They're a pretty good chip. I actually have the BL0942. I've got a pile of those that I use because you don't have to switch between current and voltage. They're a lot easier to work with, but BL0937s work quite well. Over here, then, we have an ICW4008. Now, that actually took a bit of reading to figure out what that did. Sorry, I had to go back and have a look. So it took a bit of reading. And from what I can find, that is actually a voltage regulator. I don't know to what degree, because then it looks like what we have over here is an AM1117 3.3 volt. Uh, they're really good. I've got piles of those as well. I've got the 3.3 and the 5 volt variety that I use for all sorts. But yeah, so uh, it confuses me a bit because this, the BL0937 uh, will take 3.3 volts, which you can see looks like it is from the pin on this, which is going to be providing voltage out. So, well, that's the ground pin actually there. Uh, it doesn't quite, doesn't quite track why, why it also has this. So if you have any ideas, let me know. But that was what someone on Whirlpool said. Uh, two amp fuse is going to be pretty handy. So all in all, this is well made. Um, it's well isolated. It's got some interesting parts. They're not using two yet anymore, which is great because I do not support them as a company. Uh, they're just a crap product. Like the the integration, the, the firmware and the app is really terrible. The product itself is good. So I might actually flash this with the open software as it is and add it into ESV Home. But to do so, you're going to have to tap into those pads on the back there. Um, so I'll desolder and do that another time. But I hope that teaches you something. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I was like, where the hell's the earth pin gone? I was really confused then. Um, cool. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget, I do have a few other chat. That's not even attached. All right. So that earth pin, as you can see there, if I turn it around, put it in properly. Maybe it has some little screws or something keeping it there. But ah, uh, it's going to be the posts from the back of that. All right, that's not too bad. Yeah, I've got two other channels. So I'm trying to post to this one weekly and just recording stuff that I either need or use in one way or another. That is the wrong way. Uh, I've had a big weekend. Uh, let me know. Leave some comments and questions because I do appreciate it and it gives me new ideas for things that I haven't seen before, like a bloke on one of my other channels that just commented about a way that he made pizza. That was really good. Thank you for that, mate. Till then, it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe because this is a new channel, as I've said before. And if you want to check out my other channels, it is Platama Gaming, which is going nowhere fast because I don't really do much with it. It is so hard to get back in. And Platinum Cooks, uh, which is where I was just using this before to monitor some current. I don't know if this will go back together any easier way. That's frustrating. But that's a later me problem. Till then, take it easy, folks. Cheers. All right, just one or two last things on this. Now I've put it together and I did a bit more reading. The ICW4008 uh, takes the voltage from 200 to 265, whatever your mains range is. Down to what I'm guessing is 8 volts. The reason for that is because the uh, AMS 1117, as I forgot to consider, only takes maximum about 15 volts. So that's going to be a uh, buck converter, and there's probably some rectifier dodes I didn't see there, and then the AMS regulates it uh, to 3.3 volts for all the chips. Now, similarly, that chip that we saw on there, which was... Um, the Beckon one is actually two year. Unfortunately, it's a WB2S chip, which is a shame. I mean, it's still Beckon, so you can put open Beckon on it, but I just hate two year so badly. This is why I also really don't like Arlec slash grid connect slash Dita. Then the last thing to comment on, uh, last two things maybe, I didn't see a class X or a class Y capacitor in there unless it was... No, I couldn't see any ceramic capacitors in there, which means it's lacking a little bit of protection that it should probably have. Um, and then finally, the BL0942 chip, from what I can find on places like LCSC, is actually slightly cheaper and, of course, better quality than the BL0937 that they use. So they've cheaped out in a number of ways. Uh, it, I really can't recommend this for any reason, whether it's safety, given there's no screws and it's just glue and that glue might come off eventually, or, um, you know, if it's just because it's poor quality or a waste of your money. There are other brands out there, and the ones I'd get my hands on if I were you is the TP-Link CASA. 
Um, they're mostly discontinued from what I understand. They're replaced with, the, with now crappy Tapo, which is also a garbage factory, mostly for the app though. The product itself is pretty good. But I haven't really found a smart plug that I like yet. Atom got very, very close. Very close, but not quite. So I'll keep buying them and trying them. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks.